As I've been experimenting with the GoPro Hero 2 bus connector, I've been wanting to find a way to provide power to the camera from my RC receiver. So in this video, I'm going to talk through the process uh, to take 5 volts out of the receiver into the bus connector using this uh, breakout board and power the GoPro. And it's relatively straightforward to do this. So in a previous video, I demonstrated using pin 12, which is the power mode pin, and pin 30, which is ground. And if you ground pin 12 to 30, you can turn on your GoPro and then cycle through the different modes. Now in this case, we're going to use pin 5 and still use the pin 30 ground to provide power to the GoPro. I believe this is the USB plus 5 volt input, and then 30 is ground. And what I've done is I've clip this servo lead from one of my old bad ESCs and I've run it into uh, channel 8 on my receiver. Now this is an empty channel that isn't doing any, anything other than providing power uh, to this lead. Now before we connect anything the first thing we want to do is just verify that we have 5 volts coming out of this receiver. So let me go ahead and power this mini quad now let's just take a quick measurement from these leads coming off of channel 8 and it looks like that we have just north of 5 volts so that looks good we're going to solder that up to our uh, bus connector breakout board okay so we have everything wired up pin 5 goes to the plus 5 volts coming from the receiver pin 30 goes to the ground and I'm going to go ahead and power up with this 2S LiPo so 7.4 volts I'm going to go ahead and give it power. And now the battery status indicator shows that it's charging. So we're getting the 5 volts from the receiver. Now one other cool thing that we can do with this 5 volts coming in is we can pull the battery out. I've gone ahead and turned everything off for now. And then I'll power it up without the battery. So I'll go ahead and plug the LiPo back in. Okay, so the LiPo is plugged back in. And I'll go ahead and hit the power button. And now you can see our GoPro is now powered with 5 volts from the receiver. No battery. So if you're looking to do any sort of FPV or aerial you can do it without this battery and that shaves anywhere from I think I recall 30 to 40 grams of weight. So I hope that was useful. I just want to continue to share my findings. A lot of this I'm learning from the GoPro user forums and various online sources but I still continue to work towards getting video out of this connector and send into my FPV setup and I'll keep you guys posted on the progress. If you have any questions or comments please post them below and thanks for watching.